after a long anticipated wait, Blue Star's brand new in 5400 MMC fleet have slowly been rolling out into passenger operations. So today I have come down to some parts of Southampton as well as to Eastley to give a brief overview and my thoughts on the brand new fleet. Southampton bus operator Blue Star, which is owned and managed by the Go Ahead company Go South Coast. As part of their operations in the South Coast, the bus operator ordered 44 in 5400 MMCs. Alexander Dennis were responsible for the manufacturing and construction of the fleet, with them being constructed between 2023 and 2024 in Scarborough. With then the first two being delivered to its Blue Star and Unilink bus depot at Empress Road in Southampton later in April. With then the first few of the new fleet running into passenger operations simply the week after arriving. units have been ordered in total by Blue Star. They're being introduced by Blue Star to desperately withdrawn and scrap some of their older fleet, like the Volvo Genomis from Go North East. They will be run on the Blue Star 2 route between Southampton, Easley and Fair Oak, and on the Blue Star 7 between Sholene and Lord's Hill. Now some for everyone will probably notice with the new fleet is the brand new interior, which in question can already be seen both on Suffer Vectors on the Isle of Wight and more buses in Bournemouth and Paul, another company of the Go South Coast family. Obviously one from notedly being is the brand new seats and with it also a brand new maquette, which I've got to admit does look really good. Something that should also be well known notice on the new fleet is the brand new wooden effect flooring, which is also aimed to help passengers who may suffer from dementia. I do have to admit the flooring does look really nice though. Other accessibility features have also been put into mind as well. Priority seating can be found on board for those who need it, which is provided with a stop button and a foldable armrest. A mix of both digital and dot matrix information displays or passenger information displays can also be found on board as well, giving route information, next stop, current stop status and other travel information. A dedicated wheelchair and buggy space 
can also be found on board for those passengers who may acquire it, with both two fold-up seats and a USB port being available. Clear audible onboard announcements can also be found on board, providing next stop, route diversions and other travel information. A mix of both USB and USB-C ports have also been provided at every seat, allowing you to connect and charge up your device or phone whilst on board. However, free Wi-Fi is not provided on board. This was a decision made by Blue Star back in March of 2020, at the height of the coronavirus pandemic. The decision came after low passenger numbers, and the fact having Wi-Fi on board does come at a cost to them. So in an effort to save money during the pandemic, the Wi-Fi was switched off for good. Bright red coloured braille stop buttons have also been provided at a couple of the seats upstairs. A first for fees type to be used on Blue Star, which I will agree, will agree is probably better than having to raise your arm and touch the pole or have to move down to the bus to get to one. But it's not just new features for the passengers that are also found on board these new buses. As there are some new features for the drivers on board these new buses as well. One of them being a brand new dashboard and brand new digital displays for the driver. But that's not the only new thing to be seen on these new buses for the drivers as well. As for the first time, there are cameras now instead of mirrors and have digital displays for the driver in the cab. A first to be used on Blue Star. But Blue Star isn't the only operator within Go South Coast to have these brand new smart buses. As Alexander Dennis, the successors to the M5400 have featured or already featuring across the Go South Coast network in their many variations. Blue Star operates 66, 69, and 24 play MMCs. Southern Vectis operates 67 and 73 play MMCs. More bus operates and has ordered 66, 20s, 73, and 24 play MMCs. Source Breads operates its 20 play E400 MMCs for its Active 8 service between Salisbury and Andover. Unibus operates 66 plates. Unilink in Southampton operates its 18 plate Jill Door E400 MMCs for its Unilink bus services for the University of Southampton. And Excelsior operates its 70 plate E400 MMC used for private hire or rail replacements and sometimes public routes. That's a lot of in 400 MMCs out there along the south coast. And recently, Blue Star launched their brand new 24 plate in 40400 MMCs. They were launched at Southampton City Guild Hall earlier back in May, which, which they allowed members of the public to come and see them, which of course I attended. I've got to admit, it's a great opportunity as it was great to see the brand new buses up close and also to have a chat to a couple of the management as well as of course being able to sit in the driver's seat my favourite thing to do, lol
But overall, I actually really like these buses and I think they're a great improvement for the Blue Star Network, especially following the closure of CityWed. And it is something that Southampton has been waiting for, well, ever since they took over on first, to be fair. So that's your brand new in 50400 MMC fleet running across the Blue Star Network. I thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe as it really does help the channel to grow a lot. I've been Richard and I thank you for watching Blue Star Fan Official.